hello guys welcome back this is our third project this is a portfolio basically website one page website I have used different techniques to design the portfolio website and this website have a uh, many features the first feature is uh, I click on about me then I read out on about me skills experience and contact me. this is a very simple and uh, normal portfolio website or template I click on about me I go to about and another thing is I use spy technique for example I go to below and you can see here this is automatically appeared about me section I go to a uh, below and yeah, you can see it this is a skills section I go to below this is a basically experience section right and finally is I go to uh, below this is the contact section this is a fully responsive basically I responsive right this is a fully responsive now you can see here and Jando and mobile device my skills experience and contact me and finally is photo so I need to use okay you can also use the links on the small size I'm mean small screen size so in the next video I'm gonna teach you how you can create this template so thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back now in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can set up your project files so this is our bootstrap tutorials projects I mean folder and this folder have a many folders and many files so first of all I right click it and open uh, I mean create a folder and write the folder name for T folio okay now I go to my project 3 and copy whole files I mean one file and basically folders copy it and go to portfolio folder and paste it now the next step is open your code editor and minimize it and just need to drag and drop your basically folder and open your index file and remove basically I just need to remove it because I will teach you step by step okay just a minute oh, where is uh, okay now that's it I don't change basically I do not change the title because the title is same and I go to uh, my style.css file and remove the whole files I mean properties and I right click it and open it to live server and I'm gonna show you the basically uh, this is a your project empty right so first of all we will create navbar right this is our blank template I do not use basically uh, CSS and bootstrap classes because I'm gonna teach you step by step so first of all I wanna create a nav bar nav bar first of all you need to write the div and assign the ID I write the ID header inside this div I make a div so yeah I need to write that never nav and I assign the class nevbar nevbar expand and assign the size I mean I display the small size anyone user can see my website on the mobile device then I wanna show you the toggler button or toggler icons 
so I use SM okay now the uh, next thing is I use new power talk and BG talk and final is fix talk inside the new bar I write the basically div tag and assign the class container I wanna display the whole content on this center inside this div I write the button tag and assign the class never toggler and I will use two attributes the first attribute name is data toggle double quotation and use collapse now the second is data target you know guys I have explained you everything you need to know in the nav bar header section folder but I will show you the different usage of bootstrap classes to design a different type of websites okay so I use this pen tag and assign the class nav bar toggler icon save it and open the browser but I decrease the size of the browser right now the next step is I'm gonna display the logo after closing the basically button tag you need to write the anchor tag and assign the hash sign it means dimmy link and assign the class new bar brand inside the anchor tag I use heading tag and write the logo I mean text forty four. okay now you can see it guys right now the next step is I'm gonna display the uh, basically menus so first of all you need to write the div tag and assign the class collapse then never bar collapse and use id basically id you need to assign the id like this because i'm gonna uh, click on the toggler button in the small size then the under this div i'm gonna show you some content it means menus right i'm gonna show you menus anyone user click on the toggle button then i'm gonna show you menus so inside this div I call ul tag and li inside the li tag I call anchor tag and write the basically hash sign and inside the basically anchor tag I use about me and I need to assign the classes like first class is nav bar nav and I wanna display the content on the right side so I use ML auto means margin left auto now the next step is you need to write the class in the li tag nav bar nav item now the final step you need to assign the class in the anchor tag class nav link that's it save it okay just a minute right this is your first menu now I'm gonna copy it basically this copy I copy it best 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 save it about me now the second is I think mm, what is the second link um, I write basically mm, experience and third one is basically what I right mm. uh, I think I need to assign the basically skills and experience and finally is contact save it open the browser right about me skills experience and final contact but one more thing I wanna display the I mean I wanna hover the mouse on the link then the link color will change so I go to my code editor and I go to my install.css file first of all I write the basically call body 
I'm gonna display the background color on light gray so first I will use background hash ccc it means light gray now the next step is I call header this is the ID inside the ID I call anchor tag and call hover I don't need to write it uh, basically dot sign okay and I use color FFF means white color okay now you can see a uh, background has been changed I hover the mouse on the each link then you can see how uh, each link color has been changed now the next step I'm gonna show you in the next video how we can display the image on the showcase section so this video all about how you can create a basically menus and logo and this is a fully responsive now you can see here uh, right now the next video I'm gonna show you how you can display the basically image section so thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can include the image in the showcase area and also I'm gonna teach you how you can display the author section so guys I go to my basically uh, folder project folder under this folder have uh, another folder like uh, image and this is the image and I will use those image on later first I use this image on the background then I will use this image on the author section I mean about section so first of all I go to my code editor first of all I write the showcase and first I write the div and I assign the ID BG image I just write the BG image right and then I copy this ID and go to my style.css file just a minute where is the file okay just a minute I go to explore my style and I close it and I call the ID and I use background URL single quotation double dot backslash sign image and back image and I use background size 100 pixel background repeat no repeat mini height 500 pixel that's it save it open the browser now you can see it right now I'm gonna display the basically about me section on here so guys I go to my index.html file after this div I write the comment uh, about me first of all write the div and assign the ID about and I call this ID on the link section with hash sign okay under this div I make another div and assign the class container under this container div I write another div and assign the class basically row and call right under the call I write the another div and assign the class I do not assign the class because I wanna display the I just write the ID so I, I uh, write the basically author I mean about data under this div I write another div and I send the class card bg white I'm gonna display the card and write the another div and send the class card title inside this div I write basically div and write the class media inside the media I call image tag img and I call person to image and I assign the class width 250 height 250 
and I need to assign classes like IMG fluid and then I use rounded top and I just save the code and open the browser now you can see here this is the image behind this image uh, this is a basically card and I go to my code editor first of all I write the basically margin top and bottom file right top and bottom file now I use the margin left and right MX file in the image section right now the another thing is I wanna display the text right uh, text I wanna display the text on here so after this div under this div guys under this div I write another div and class media body under the media body class I call h3 and write the I am John to and I send a class basically class display 4 okay that's great now inside this div I call paragraph and write the programmer and blogger and I send class text muted save it okay that's great I decrease the size of the browser then you can see here my data is perfect but I want to hide the image of uh, any user open my website in this small device like mobile and uh, basically tablet so I go to my code editor and I use class D none D LG block okay save it this is the larger screen okay and I decrease the size of the browser okay image has been disabled right but I wanna make a space so where uh, this is a margin left 3 5 is the best and I also assign this margin left on the paragraph tag save it okay now that's great okay guys now the another thing is I'm gonna display the more than content on here after the programmer and blogger text so guys I write the basically div and I send the class container inside the container div I write basically table tr td and in the first td I write edge copy it paste here and I use colon and copy it paste here and I write the dead for example 30 years old now I need to assign the classes like table table response and copy save it open the browser now you yeah, guys you can see here okay now another thing is I use class text muted and copy it and I need to use basically classes like uh, margin left and all five five is too large three is the best four that's great now I copy the tr and also td tags and paste here and I need to change the basically email admin at the right online com and copy it paste here website and I need to write the basically www dot right save it copy it paste here and I change the basically text one nine two three I mean nine two six nine double six 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 okay this is our data 
now I, another thing is I find basically card card div inside the card div I write basically div and a semi class card footer bg danger I will now display the social sharing icons okay where is the basically I don't need to write the card Okay, that's great right now the next thing is I use anchor text and hash sign I take and I send the classes FAF Facebook and uh, I use size of the icon and I use padding left right I mean margin left right why is the best I copy it best 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 and also I paste the five times four times Twitter YouTube Pinterest and I use github save it and open the browser uh, I think I use three margin left and right three is best because it is two space okay that's great now guys now the final step is I go to copy it basically about page and go to my style dot CSS and paste here first of all I use margin top top minus mm, 200 pixel save it and open the browser now you can see here guys I scroll down then you can see here this is our card I mean about section and another thing is I'm gonna change the font away some icon color so I go to my code editor and call about dot fa and I use color I have white okay now that's fine now the final step is guys I will use spy menus I mean I click on it then I am redirect on the about section but I scroll down then this link will automatically is appeared I mean highlighted so how I can do that that's very simple guys you need to go on index.html file and go to body section this is a body section inside the body under the body tag you need to assign the attribute data spy scroll and you need to write the data target attribute and call the nearby save it now this is about page and I connect about page or section on the about me div like this I go to above and I simply scroll down then you can see uh, the about me page has been appeared I mean highlighted right so this video all about how to set up your about me section I scroll above then you can see here uh, the link has been unhighlighted so this video all about how you can set up the uh, cards I mean card and uh, display the authors data pictures and this is a fully responsive okay now you can see here uh, so I hope you are understood as well thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in previous lecture we have discussed all about the about me section in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can create a skill section before working on a skill section I will write some content all about the John Doe I will write the, the me text which appear after the basically uh, social sharing icons so I go to my core editor and this is a basically about me section this is a starting day 
and this is a closing day right inside I mean before closing the last day I write the dev and I call basically class container inside the container dev I write the basically class row and call inside the call but I need to write the margin top file make a space between the author card and content now after creating a call dev I wanna um, use basically span tag and I use basically about me and I use guys class bg danger text white and uh, I use hr tag to display the horizontal row and guys I use basically a uh, class bg danger same class save it open the browser okay now you can see here so the next thing is I use paragraph and demi text I copy the demi text and I use a lot I mean two times more than two times one time two times save it and go to paragraph tag and write the class lead text justify save it great now I'm gonna set up the about me and also link this link I mean uh, this row so guys you need to go on style.css file this is your style CSS file and this content available under the about ID I mean uh, about dev have a span tag and also HR tag to display the content and horizontal row so I target this about ID and go to CSS and call the ID and I call the span tag first I and I use padding basically padding I use padding top 10 and left top 10 bottom 20 I mean um, left 20 and bottom 10 and right 20 save it okay that's great now you can see here guys now the next is I use about and HR and I use border width and I use 3 pixel save it okay now okay. now the next is I use margin top mm, 6 pixel save it okay now guys you can see here I need to decrease the size of the width because it's too large okay now that's great now this is our basically responsive now you can see here right okay guys this is uh, all about about me section I scroll down then you can see here the about me link has been appeared I scroll above then the link has been disappeared or unhighlighted right now the next thing is I wanna work on skill section so I go to code editor and after closing the last div I write the comment skill write the div and write the id skill S copy it and go to about to write on the link section and guys uh, under this div I write div class container inside the container div I call the same class span and HR and I use basically class BG um, primary text white and I use my skills and I use same class like um, BG primary save it 
and I need to assign the margin top because make a space between a uh, scale and now you can see uh, okay now I use this ID to set up the HR skill span first I set up the span uh, tag copy it paste here and call skill HR and basically copy the border and paste it that's it save it what is this span skills span mm, save it just a minute I check it where is the problem skills okay guys just a minute I remove it and I send a class empty file that's great now guys you can see right under the skills first I write I mean make a space okay now I have an display the progress bars okay now you can see here this is a basically a skill section but I need to create the uh, skill section so I call the day and I send a class row inside the row I class I send a class call inside the call I call card bg white inside the card I use first I use basically day and and I use basically ID under this div I'm gonna display the basically I don't need to yeah, use basically ID because I'm gonna display the progress bar so first I use h3 and I use, use any text and call the div progress inside the progress I call progress bar progress bar you can uh, select anyone okay now you need to assign the style and width for example 95 percent and you need to assign the margin left and right three save it check it where is uh, basically okay just a minute I need to remove it because just a minute just a minute save it okay now you can see here this is the progress bar and I need to basically use a uh, class ml three M Y margin top and bottom I use three. Okay, that's great. Okay, now I check it. Basically, I'm gonna display the basically text. I use ninety-five percent. Let's check it. Okay, that's great. Now you can see it, guys. So I copy it. Basically, this is a copy it and paste it paste here paste here paste here paste here paste here so five time mode one two three four five six I need to remove one because I don't need to use six okay now let's change the text CSS3 JavaScript programming and I use SQL Server and I use C Shop and I use Java programming. Okay, I change the basically text because C Shop I use uh, Java is use 85 and I change the progress bar and this is a basically 100 percent 100 percent 
and SQL server is 80 percent 90 is best okay 90 90 okay javascript is um, 99 99 and css is 100 percent and 100 percent and also i need to change the basically HTML is 95 is best okay now let's check it okay that's great I go to about this is about section okay about section I go to below this is a basically skill section I click on about I can do that I click on skills I go to on below section so this video all about how you can create a basically a skill section this is a fully responsive right this is a response you can see here guys now in the last video I'm gonna teach you how you can display the experience and contact form so thank you very much for watching see you next lecture guys hello guys welcome back in this video I'm gonna teach you experience section and also contact section those are basically very simple to design them but before working on them I'm gonna change the uh, basically progress bar colors so I go to my code editor and those are basically progress bars first of all I write bg dark and copy it because the dark color is looking so nice so I paste the basically dark color on each progress bar save it on now you can see uh, that's looking so nice I think I need to change the color what are you thinking <laughs> guys you can use any one color is like but I just uh, tell you how you can design the single page portfolio website okay now the next is experience so let's get it start to understand uh, experience after closing div tag I write the command experience first of all I write the ID experience of it go to a bow and paste the experience text on the link with hash sign save it now the next process is you know guys I write the class container inside the container I write the, the class row inside the row I write the class call LG6 means large screen 6 okay I mean number of large screen 6 in the first section I write the div and assign the class card bg white inside the card I need to display the basically image img and I call anyone image I call udemy image okay and uh, I use basically width 200 height 80 and I use glasses like uh, img flute and that's I think that's best okay let's start okay now that's great but I need to make a space empty file okay one more thing I need to use basically uh, is pen tech and use experience and HR tech okay I use basically class BG success text white and I use same class which is success and I call this ID on the CSS first I call a span and copy the basically padding paste here call experience HR and copy the border and margin save it okay what's this uh, 
card. Let's check it. Where is the problem? Span. Okay, cut it. And paste it. Just a minute, I check it. Okay, that's great. Now, experience. Okay, guys, this is a basically a card. Uh, inside the under this card have an image so I need to use basically MT5 I use MY because I wanna make a space between top and bottom so I use 3 okay I use deflex and ML auto and I use simple margin auto I wanna display the image on the center okay that's great now I think I use MY5 now I use MT mm, I think what is problem ok let's uh, I remove it basically deflex and I check it ok no problem just a minute just a minute I remove it and refresh it ok just a minute I call the margin bottom 3 just a minute guys basically padding mm, 5 ok that's great now I use 3 3 is best right this is a udemy and uh, I use basically h3 tag and udemy instructor save it and I use basically class so like uh, align center text center Okay, and Udemy instructor. Okay, that's great. I use paragraph and some content, and I use class and lead text to justify, and I use padding all side two pixel three. That's nice. I think that's nice okay guys and uh, I use basically color BG success so is mm, text success. Mm, not good but mm, what are you thinking guys I think that's best Mm, okay okay now I change danger great that's great now I'm UDM instructor now copy the basically call uh, dev and paste and guys save it and open the browser now yeah but I need to change the image I write the Google and I am I'm a digital marketer right I just tell you how you can do that right this is a digital marketer right okay I copy it paste here I call YouTube I am a video creator video creator okay 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 just a minute I use basically margin file okay that's great I'm a video creator okay copy it paste here and finally is what is the name of the final image YouTube Google I think Microsoft okay I am a desktop desktop application developer right okay that's basically uh, final of the experience section I go to below and this is the experience section 
now the last one is but I use basically a style on the card so I copy the experience ID and paste here and I call dot card and I use border top mm, 3 pixel which color is best to I think is right I'll, I check it mm, what is this okay that's experience dot card where is the card okay. 3 pixels solid ok that's nice but uh, I, I change the basically color because I don't like red red color mm, I think uh, this color is best so I try it save it okay now that's fine okay that's great okay now the last one is experience I go to index.html and I write the comment contact write the day and call id contact copy contact and go to above and paste the contact with hash sign and go to below and call the basically just need to write the first class container and class row class call and I will display the contact form on the card inside the card I write the basically div class form group inside the form group I just call input text and placeholder name username is best and I use class form control and I copy it and paste here save it open the browser okay one more thing I need to do is uh, span tag okay. span contact me and I use HR and one more thing I use margin top file I copy the contact and go to style.css and paste it and call span uh, where is a span properties I use same contact span and I call the basically border case save it go to index.html you need to assign the classes like uh, uh, first I use basically class mm, bg which color I use basically dark 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 is best and I also send the class bg dark save it okay okay text white that's fine okay where is the problem span hr Okay, now this is uh, our contact form, but we need to basically use margin top and bottom and by two. Copy it, paste here. Mm, where is a uh, okay? First, I use margin top five. Okay, this is a five is a two large three is the best. And I use padding. Just a minute padding. No 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 no. Five 
arm control I need to cut it and copy it paste here okay okay that's great now I use another I use basically I remove it I check it basically guys just a minute I use margin bottom two padding bottom okay I think I wanna make a space but I use another classes mm. Okay, okay, just a minute, just a minute. I cut it. Right card. Here. And I use H3 or H4. Contact me. Fell. Contact me. On below. And paste the same code okay save it but I think this get this div is close on here and uh, this is a second div okay I try I check it okay just a minute just a minute I guys I check it okay okay that's perfect okay now you can see him but I use basically class margin top and bottom three okay um four okay that's great that's great now the I change basically the email and I use basically the same farm guru paste here and I need to change the basically I use text area okay and I need to change the classes like uh, form control save it okay and I use uh, basically write something on here save it okay now the final step is I use basically button deck paste the form group and remove it them and use button class btn btn success text white and I use submit now that's great guys this is our farm contact form right now the final step is basically footer so I write the footer footer write the D class container and class call first row and class call and you need to first I use BG dark and I use basically paragraph tag and I use the design online attitudes Mm, 2018 oh, save it okay 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 where is uh, first I use text white okay now the next thing is container clause 
and I use margin top no I don't need to use margin top because it's make a too large space so okay 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 guys I use container fluid because I just want to okay now the next is I cut it and by the class container paste that's it okay and I use uh, basically padding top bottom three okay now where is uh, basically I check it basically okay okay mm. VG dark and margin I think margin top and bottom too large so I remove them and I use padding top padding top 3 okay that's great and use text center okay guys this video all about the last section I hope you understood as well this is a fully responsive now you can see here and this is a I click on it so this is about me and this is a basically a skill section experience and contact form last is basically footer and contact form I click on about me I go to about me skills and experience contact form so i hope you are understood as well thank you thank you very much for watching the video if you have any questions so kindly contact me i will help you see you in next video next lecture